Let's do it, DJ. All right. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Gravy Baby. Carmen will be here in a few. She's running a little bit late. DJ's up. He's throwing the deuces. He's got a beautiful day behind him. Oh, shit. Look at the Pallet Palace. That's good now. Look at that. Did you stain it, too? Yeah, it's stained. Ooh. Man, that's a bitch. Dude. I'm such yep. like a theater kid. I've been hype about it, but now that it looks pretty, I'm like really hype about it. I'm such oh, a mark. See, just wait till it, we get done with it, and then the rest of it, it's going to look like a little town, like a little goat town with a little <laughs> gas station. No, nah, they're going to have gas stations? Yo, 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 yeah. They're going to sell like, snacks? Yes, yeah, so they have pellets in there. Hey, it's all kind of good stuff for all the good buddies. Dude, uh, I'm going to come down there and be the security guard at the gas station and try to get them goats arrested for stealing. Woo! You didn't pay. You're going to be the police. You're going to be the yeah, we'll your little police station out here and you can run it out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, on a cow. Just saying, woo, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're having fun. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's nice. In it's North it's nice here in the belly of the beast, Satan's temple, yeah. Babylon. So, so, how are you? How is, uh, so, this is what I want to ask you. Know, we were just talking about this. Okay. So the SCOTUS, SCOTUS, the SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States, everyone. It's yes. This is not a disease DJ's goat has. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. Then my SCOTUS yeah. is flaring up again. My SCOTUS itches. And I see Dave, dude. He looked weird. His face is bloated. What the fuck? Oh, he's got SCOTUS. That explains uh, it. He's got the SCOTUS. <laughs> I ended up with the SCOTUS. Dude, I heard he got it in Nam. It comes back every 40 years like the plague. Yeah. All right. Enough like of that. Cicadas. To ask me to have double cicadas and shit. I heard that. Not everywhere, it's though, good. right? I think I know probably not everywhere. I mean, why would it be good like that? Yeah, I mean, we'll probably miss out on that. We can get anything nice. <laughs> dude. Like, no, I hate cicadas. cicadas, dude. I do, too. They make it's my terrible. skin crawl the way some people's uh, skin crawls with, like, roaches. Like, my mom yeah. told me a story. I think we talked about this on here. There was, like, a story going around when they came out when we were younger. And it was like, uh, this kid put one in his pocket, and then it burrowed a hole in his leg like they do a tree no. when he was asleep. And who knows if it was true, but like, you know, your parents, they like, hey, we heard this happen, so don't be putting these in your pocket. And they need to process it. Like, okay, but I'm eight. You just ruined the next five days for me, dude. <laughs> yeah. I stopped fucking with them entirely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to fight them. And like, it, I'm not trying to fight them off my stuff. It doesn't sound like a great... Like a great yeah. I thing, you know what I mean? It yes. sounds fun. But here's a little country fun for everybody out there. If you're out there and you got like some a kid that's around ten and they like to fish, a live cicada is the It'll best bet that I have best bait that I've in my limited experience fishing, I mean, I thought it was magic. That's why I fucked with them so hard. I wanted to catch them all. That's probably why my mom yeah. made that story up to scare me. I would go <laughs> catch them all and try to keep them alive so I could wake up in the morning and then go fishing. And, and dude, I mean, like, it was insane. You just, sometimes before it ever hit the water, they'd jump up and eat it. Well, that's, that's who could blame them? I know. I didn't blame them. I loved it. I was catching me little tiny smallmouth bass. All right, let's talk about the Supreme Court of the United States. Speaking yeah, of plagues. So yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're doing, they're rolling on a TikTok ban, which is, I know there's a lot of conspiracy and it's a lot of stuff. So like, I'm not even trying to get into that. I'm not trying to get, I don't, you know, hey man, uh, whatever. Right. But what I did find was kind of <gasps> scary was uh, Alito's, and I haven't heard the whole thing. And I haven't read the whole thing yet. So, you know, Alito's is kind of like, you know, what you would imagine. It's not, it wasn't really good, but, but, but Katanji Brown said that if, that it would be, the freedom of speech is probably, would be hamstringing the government, is what I remember. I don't have the quote with me right here, actually, uh, but I, I could find it. Um, 
All right, you find it while I give people listening a little context. Okay. Uh, first of all, the internet has pulled. the internet has labeled this the TikTok ban. That is not quite what is they are attempting to do. Uh, no one's trying to quote unquote ban it per se. The argument is that TikTok cannot exist in America if it is c- continues to be owned by the Chinese government or by an entity that represents the Chinese government. The argument, whether you believe that this is true or what they actually are afraid of or not, the argument that they're making is this is a national security threat because the Chinese government is gathering data on us. Part of the reason they, they being the United States government or the United States military industrial complex or the United States military or CIA are scared by the idea of the Chinese having access to our social media data is that they know how much shit they learned about us from our own social media. Uh, case in point, right. there's a there's a famous like example of this, an anecdote where a guy went to, to the United States government who had some of this data early on before the United States government knew much about it, and he told them where they had secret bases. He told them where there were American spies. He was like, from your data, this is what I figured out about you. And he was like doing it like, see how awesome this is? Don't you want to buy it from me so we can do it to other people? But of course their reaction was, shut this shit down right fucking now before you sell it to Syria. Which, by the way, he later got in trouble for doing. That is why I use that as a reference. So the argument goes... We can't have the Chinese government not even necessarily spying on us through TikTok, just knowing so much about us and how we operate by having access to our phones. So their argument is we can't allow a foreign government to own all that. But then the legal questions that come in there is like, well, all right, but Facebook already owns this as one example. And then they yeah. go, yes, but we've made it illegal for them to sell it to China, as one example. And they're like, sure, but we didn't make it illegal for them to sell it to this other country, and then that country can sell it to Russia or China. So it's a bit of a quagmire in terms of that happening. I know that we're all calling it a TikTok ban, but what it's really is is an attempt to circumvent the Chinese government. Now, whether you believe they're doing that because it is a legitimate threat or because TikTok is one of the most valuable social media companies of all time, and they just want to force it out of China's hand. Hey, that's up to you. You believe whatever you want to believe. But that's what's going on. Yeah, I'm not even. I, yeah, I don't even do that anymore. Like, if it's not factually coming right out of somebody's face or like an action, I'm not even trying to. Dude, it could be both. I, it could, you know, it's one yeah, one but, one entity's pushing because of this, and another entity's pushing because of that. Okay, so. We got the quote. God damn it. It fucking just went. So basically, today was about First Amendment, right? Yep. And uh, it was, uh, and I don't know what this is, right? Murphy versus Missouri. Okay. That, that's uh, a case precedent. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But About the First Amendment, I guess, uh, could you be skeptical that the government could not censor social media posts in the most important time periods? But she said, she said, my biggest concern is that your view as the First Amendment hamstringing the government. Oh, my God, it just went away. We're being oppressed right now. Yeah, hamstringing uh, uh, the government in significant ways in the most important time period. First Amendment, the First Amendment hamstringing the government in the most important time periods. Yeah. That's a scary fucking statement. Does that not... Fucking bother like, is uh, that I wouldn't say it, I wouldn't say it bothers me, but I guess the reason why is that sentence just gets at the crux of the First Amendment debate from the beginning of the First Amendment debate. Because once in America we have the First Amendment, you know, like the, like in other countries, and the, like the scary thing is when they just don't have it. You just you just don't have a right to free speech. In America, we say you do have a right to free speech. Here are the exceptions. The most obvious or easiest to understand exception is if you yell fire in a theater when there's not a fire because you're being a dickhead, 
and then someone gets hurt as everyone runs from the fire, you're responsible for that. You can't say, well, my free speech gives me a right to say whatever I want. Everyone can understand sure. that. So that's a situation where the government gets to curtail speech. What she's saying, and I'm not saying it's not scary. I just meant it, it didn't bother me because I, it's the same debate that's been going on one way or the other for years over free speech. What she's saying is the but government— specifically towards— yeah, but specifically towards how you get your news and how you get your information. Right. I mean, well, freedom is of the press is, is a separate thing that has different protections. But yes, it is. I'm not saying I, I didn't mean to say it wasn't scary. It just didn't freak me out because what she's arguing is the government has a right to curtail people's speech or not a right. Maybe that's not the way to phrase it. You have a right to free speech, but the government will curtail that in certain instances. And what she's saying is, I feel like in this case, you're trying to use free speech to hamstring the government. Here's the thing, and this is maybe what you're getting at. That is exactly what free speech should be used for. Yes, yes, exactly. That's that's what when I I had to read it and read it and read it and read it, and I was like, hold on, man. Like, do we need to curtail? We need to hamstring the government. Like, now some say hold the government. Like, stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. need information and able to. You know, because they're like, I mean, they, yeah, that's why we should have. And if I, I don't know what your views about, like, they try to put it in like a dangerous thing or like hate speech or like stuff like that. As far as I'm concerned, I don't mind hate speech. You know what I mean? Hate speech is good for as far as I'm concerned because it just lets you know who's fucking who's doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're not keeping it silent. You know what I'm saying? It's not like this weird type of censorship that we have. How well, really, just people aren't speaking. You know what I'm. Where you know what I mean. I do, I do know what you mean. A, I a think censorship type thing, where instead, you know what I'm saying. You you know what's up there. So I don't I, mind. I'll give you a little pushback on that, just because I think we've seen historically that the good ideas don't always win. Um, I'm okay. Right. I'm I'm totally okay with the government saying you're not going to. Um, just yell, you know, Nazi shit or whatever. The thing is, it gets used so selectively. It gets used in so many biased ways. But this is, you know, now we are describing the quote-unquote experiment of American democracy. And we're getting into stuff that's both in the minutia and the day-to-day -day difficult and nuanced and in the broad philosophical sense difficult and nuanced to wrap our brains around. So yeah. I understand what you're saying. It's like, like the great Roy Wood Jr. joke, don't take away the rebel flag. That's how I know what gas stations not to stop at when I'm in exactly. the Exactly. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. And if people weren't like, you should, you know, just fucking say what's on your mind. I'm not going to fuck with you. That's great. And as far as like winning or losing, it's like that great Chris Hedges quote. You know what I'm saying? I don't fight fascism because I think I, I'm going to win. I fight fascists because they're fascists. You know what I mean? It's like, that's, that's the, that's, so you you're not you're not ever gonna win from these authoritarian weird power hungry corporations like the winning is well that's another you say corporations uh, that's another thing that's so gray in these cases and this is relatively new the right to free speech is a right that you have that prevents the government from stepping on your right to free speech. One I mean, of the, why specifically in my head was talking about Boeing before. Right. I know that. And well, so no, okay. that's what's so you can't, you don't have a right to free speech on TikTok's platform mm -hmm. because TikTok is a privately held company. You don't have a right to free speech on Facebook. You don't have a right to free speech on X. You have a right to free speech in America and the government can't take that right away from you. But if Elon Musk says, I own Twitter and I'm going right. to take this away from you, I'm not the government. I'm allowed to do that. This case is weird because the government is stepping in to force the sale. Yeah. And so that's the infringement that, that I think it gets lost for some people where they're like, oh, the government, you know, because you're not allowed to say whatever you want on TikTok. What the government is really doing is saying we have to force the sale because of who's listening to you say it. This is a very weird case. It's definitely one yes. they're talking about in law schools right now. It's not one I'm capable of parsing. 
in an hour, much less in a, in in a month. Yeah, sorry. No, no, sorry. I, don't be sorry. I think it's. I think for all those reasons, it's why it's interesting and fun to talk about. Because sure, yeah, absolutely. I, but have you heard about the whole Boeing thing? The one where they killed the whistleblower. Yes. Did you know that he had a fucking full bag of Taco Bell right <laughs> beside him? Right beside him, dog. Hold, hold on, boss, Taco Bell. And it fucking didn't know what he, it could have been any more obvious. The, the fucking, the stupid is the fucking gun, y'all. But like fucking, <laughs> there ain't gonna be no fucking, there's like, no, it's so crazy because they'll never be, nobody will ever do anything. You know what I'm saying? We know that Boeing is gonna continue to make, Fucking bombs and fucking, you know, fucking uh, do what they do. Well, you know the bomb I mean? part of Boeing is not what's, that's what's crazy about this. That's not, they're not in trouble for killing people on purpose. Yeah, like, like Boeing is actively involved in some of the most evil atrocities oh, of our time. They're in trouble oh, right so now, though, for accidentally killing way less people on their commercial airlines. <laughs> well, purposely, intentionally, they knew it. They knew well, it was yeah, just a yeah. matter of time. I mean, they knew it was just a matter of time. And it's now going to be a matter of time for all of us. That's just going to be the dice you fucking throw when you get on a plane. <laughs> I, I want to know what's in that Taco Bell order. I think for me, how I feel about I this conspiracy, too. it comes down to that. If it was just a bag of tacos, I could see myself killing myself because I got the bag of tacos trying to save two bucks. Do you know what I mean? You get back to your hotel, you're like, you really wanted cheesy gordita crunch and a crunch wrap supreme, but you were like, ah, the bag of tacos is a better deal. And then you get back to your hotel room, you're like, God, I'm such a fucking loser. I can't even order Taco Bell correctly. <laughs> Let me I off myself, dude. Just sitting there, yeah, just sitting there with goddamn sauce and shit all over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they forgot yeah. it. They put mild in the bag when my man ordered Diablo, and he was like, fuck it, I'm yeah. out. I'm done. I'm you know, I had a whole bag of fucking Taco Bell. Well, <laughs> big guys Taco Bell. Go back up. All right, damn. God damn. All right. Connect, connect. Maybe I missed something, and I've been out of the loop for a variety of reasons. Is there a connection with Boeing and TikTok, or are those just the two big cases on your mind right now no, in terms I was of the government? about free speech because of the whistleblower and fighting right. corporations. Like, you're having to fight companies and stuff so when i said companies when, yeah. I, when I made that i was the, I, in my the i knew i was immediately thinking of well yeah was, uh, that makes sense because i was thinking of julian assange um chelsea manning right. i was thinking yeah, of that, um yeah too and and That's it's crazy. interesting i got into a conversation with a guy who's he's not like right wing but like he was in the military he feels a little differently about the world than me on that stuff and he was like talking about just as an example uh snowden you know, he's like, that guy was clearly just trying to sell information to the highest bidder. And I was like, I agree with you. The conversation can't be about whether or not Snowden or Assange or Chelsea Manning are good people. That's yeah. not this. That's not what we're doing yeah. here. Yes. I yeah, the whole idea of that, of good people and lesser evils and shit like that is so, like, the world is so much more, people are so much more fucking nuanced. Right. And, and like things are just so much more it's not the whole idea of a lesser evil is to have you compare and measure fucking tragedy to somehow put one person suffering above another and if you're doing that you're missing the fucking point you're missing the fucking point 100% I feel pretty strongly that we get into the morality of one or two people because of the theater of politics. And we start to forget about yeah. what matters, which is policy. And, yeah. and ironically, I'm going to throw it back on you and I, and we don't need to get into this. And we've actually talked off mic about how we don't want to, but that is the only reason I'll still tell people that I think they should, if they ask me, I'll, I'll not give this opinion if nobody asked me, but like, I think they should vote for Biden and I'll vote for Biden because of the court system and the policies that will reverberate for the next 50 years if Trump wins again. But I, let me also say I won't blame anyone if they don't vote for Biden because of so many other policies. But my point is we always get into this like the morality of that person or the way that honestly yeah. where the way a person makes me feel. 
Yeah. And it's like, that is so irrelevant to these conversations. So Snowden being good or bad is irrelevant to the conversation about whistleblowers and freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Julian Assange being a foreigner is only relevant in the legal sense in terms of protections and how they may apply to him. But it's not relevant in terms of like, do we want this information out? And if someone gets it out, are we allowed to punish them as if they owed secrecy? They're not in the fucking army. Snowden was or or was contracted. Yeah, and that didn't do any of those crimes in America. You know what I'm saying? Right. They are extraditing a person. I would would like to make a Dude, spying is all they could possibly charge him with. Yeah, and that's like, are you spying? But that's a war crime. Like, you, like you, he doesn't owe America that. What that right. that's literally America just saying you are my enemy. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's just, it's just that's all it is. Is it's revenge. I would like to make a point to your point about the the only reason that I could see for for and I've thought about this a lot for, for Biden for Joe lock him up Biden goddamn fucking. It's not about a lesser evil it's about a weakest link do you know what i mean like he's less dangerous yes exactly i mean yeah everything about him that you is a genetic fucking zealot who was playing out of a playbook in the 1940s he was coming up with goddamn clan you know what i'm saying this motherfucker is is he's he's a segregationist in his heart he was before, and he always will be. However, however, if there's ever going to be any type of labor unity, if there's going to and I'm not, and I don't think, I know, I feel like, I feel like once this happens, that it will be all about the UAW. Now, fucking what? That whole fucking thing that Trump was saying about the tariffs, like, that should scare the fuck out of people. Not the fucking bloodbath part. That was so, I fucking, the lib fucking brain to just lash on to one thing it's like crazy but what he was talking about with fucking china moved all their factories down to mexico do you know what i mean and then using that to create you know because they're number one in ev dude listen y'all bricks their gdp was higher than the g7s yesterday they're innovative fucking in and evs ai all that obviously sanctions don't work obviously tariffs don't work the further we Stay in, in, in this type of weird war, yeah. stay in, in competitive. That we are not going to do anything, continue to fall, build them up. We don't, we don't need this. You I say we need a strong in America and let that lead us. We need a workers' party, Sean Fain. So that's why you should, if you're going to, but I don't give a fuck if you do or not. I don't give a fuck if you're fighting these motherfuckers in the street. That's what we need to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Even man. You, you you broke up a little. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's fine. It was kind of beautiful because it's sort of like a lesson in political theater, too, because what was popping through was just like America, labor, China. <laughs> you know, it was like, it kind of felt like a mad lib of like, you know what I mean? Not a mad liberal person, but a mad lib. There's do yeah. something with that, Carmen. Where the fuck are you? Uh, anyway, um, I. I'm with you. I think now what you're talking about is compared to what we were talking about earlier is like a big picture thing. And that's what's so interesting to me about the TikTok case. I can totally accept an argument that TikTok is bad for America because it puts us in more danger economically and militarily by China having all that information. But wild wild that you care about that in this case and not as it relates to the billions and billions of issues and dollars you were just referring to. It's like, you mean the people we literally owe trillions to because we sold them uh, loan notes for the last three decades. You mean, the, it's like, they already own us. They own half of our land. And now oh, yes. this is what and it is. Th- this yes, is what's yes. bothering you. It, and it, it feels like it's an easy thing for them to attach to, or this is where conspiracy-minded people start going crazy. They go, well, it's got to be something else. It's got to be, you know, this thing, and then they it's, figure it out, and they work backwards and blah, blah, blah. It's de-dollarization, man. 
It's the fact that they have figured out a way that they don't need these fucking banks, man. It's de-dollarization. Well, Bricks is built on a fucking gold standard. They'll they'll build the bolt the 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 belt in a the the, uh, the belt in a whatever road. What is it? The belt and brick road. Belt and brick road. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm gonna uh, be honest. Belt. You've gone a little bit beyond my sense of knowledge. I oh, okay. barely know what de-dollarization means. Does it mean just go back to the gold standard? That's why Bricks is on. Bricks is on a. What on the fuck is standard. Bricks? Okay, Bricks is a. It's it's Brazil, Russia, um, uh. India, China, Saudi Arabia. They've also got South America now. It's it's the global South. They're calling in Yemen. They're calling in Mexico. Yeah. These all people are joining. That's why these sanctions aren't working on Russia. That's what has literally right built them up is right. because they don't nothing that we can't all all the, the it's so crazy if you once you get into it it's just it's just like well going to that standard and i'm going to speak a little ignorantly and probably well over my head but speculation economics can make people or countries or, or entities a lot of money sure and quickly especially as compared to the uh, staying on a gold standard, but like over time, you, just like it won't jump up real quick, it won't jump down real quick either. Like it's a lot more stable, which is what you're touching on. We're we're trying to like sanction yeah, the Russia. Gold standard, yeah, we're trying to sanction Russia, that. and that would work if they were on our type of Western speculation right. economics, where everything is based upon the bank right. and alone and credit. Right. But they're not doing and it. And now, that not way. only, not only. Did, can they not sanction anybody? But they everybody can do business in the world and not have them to fuck around with. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, we don't need you. You can't sanction us. You have nothing to do with here. You're, we fucking, we're, you don't have nothing. You have nothing, no say well, about what Mexico does. You have no say about what, you know what I'm saying? Well, we, we do have, own. we have two moves. Well, and we're this not using is, their bank. This we're is, what, this is what worries people. We have two moves. Okay. We owe them a lot of money. Yeah. We stop paying. And then we come, don't have money. Then comes the second move. Right. Well then what do we do? We don't we we don't make anything. We need them to keep sending well, us the stuff. It. Right. We we've exported right. everything. Right, right. We've got but tech it, now we right. got tech company. Right. Well, then tech. then that comes phase two. And this is what everyone's so worried about. Right. What what are we better at than them? What do we have more of? War. 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 That's it. That's what we're doing right now. Trying to maintain a superpower. As the world moves forward, they're kicking us out of Niger, fucking Haiti. I guarantee we're gonna see fucking Hawaii, Puerto Rico. We done fucked up Hawaii. They're tired of our shit. They're gonna kick motherfuckers out. Dude, the re, it's like the, the empire the, is falling, the, what, man. It's crazy. Hawaii doesn't but, want. I would say. I would assume Hawaii would be afraid of the alternative. I don't think that we're gonna lose them. Not to mention that the problem that you're skipping with the we're gonna lose them. They they're have a huge. We have a huge <laughs> base there. Remember the thing we're good at. You can't just take Hawaii, dog. We get like, we got a huge base there. Russia's gonna take Alaska. No, Russia's already talking no. about taking back Alaska. Yeah. You're gonna have to give it up. You, you, you're gonna you, have to give it up. You are Drew, you're skipping you're over the one. Peace. What's the one thing we're good at? What are we better at than them? Okay, well tell us. Tell me how are we gonna make all them bombs? We've already gave a fucking Israel and fucking uh, Ukraine all our shit. Our, our fucking. Our <laughs> no, we did not, dude. Empty. Whatever dude, amount of bombs okay. you think we have, multiply it by ten, dog. Listen, I we are. I, I am. Not. I am completely with you that we're Maybe that nukes. we're fucked Maybe if nukes. we don't change Maybe course. Nukes. That's all we need, dog. That's, That's all, all we need. Got, we're all gonna kill each other. Yes. Let's go die. Yes. True. I don't like having these conversations with you. <laughs> Talk about making peace. I know. You don't like having these conversations with me because you're like, we're fucking up. Here's how we fix it. And I'm like, cool, but here's what's actually going to happen. Mutual destruction? Mutual I, sure destruction? Either either so that... Like a, there might be a detente of some sort. I don't know if I said that word correctly, where the balance of power shifts away from us being number one, but only if we get... This is honestly what I'm hoping for. Only if we get a certain amount of security. It's sort of like, hey, we fucked up. We owe all of you trillions of dollars. We have no way of paying you back. Um, mm -hmm. All right. We will let you have the South China Sea, China. We'll give you what you want. Brazil will leave you alone and let you do this. Blah, 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 blah. But 
we will fucking murder all of you if we don't get X, Y, or Z. The question is... You got way too much faith in this country. Well... You got I, way too much... I think... Oh, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I said this is my only hope. The other oh, question right. is, is who's in charge during these talks? Who's talking? I mean, our president. I mean, this, this will actually matter. Uh, who our president is will actually want very yeah, much matter. Yeah, matter a lot. Which, and, that's and by the way, I, go I don't think it'll happen in the next four years. I think it's Shit. whoever comes after them. Dude, we're too scary. I don't think you understand how scary I they are. I don't think people are scared of us anymore, dog. I don't think they give a fuck about us. I think they I know. I think they give a fuck. I think I they know. Think they give a fuck. I think they know the ship is sinking, and so they're quietly taking the silverware as they go ashore. But they absolutely yeah. are not going to shoot at that boat yet. Not till it's sunk. In my opinion. Yeah, man, Will. Hoosies, Will. <laughs> Hoosies. <laughs> Hoosies give a fuck about shooting at a boat. <laughs> That's their favorite thing to do. Is they Hell literally yeah, live and die for it. Yeah. All right. that shit. That's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody scared of us no more. No, nah, that's Dude, not true. Ain't nobody scared of us. What, Dude, you, are, you, are, you are 100% observing people going, you know what it is? It's like, uh, what's the word? I'm, it, the kids, they knock and they run away. What do they call that? Ding dong, ding dong ditch. The whole world's ding dong ditching right now. It's definitely a little bit of put your toes in the water. You know what? Oh, you know what it's like? It's like when uh, the lion pride or the apes, the one gets old. He wins the first two or three fights. He kills the first two or three that attack him, but not as but not as though. quickly as he used to. You know, gets a little bit more hurt in the process. We're we're at, we're at that stage where they're throwing rocks at him. They're throwing rocks at us. The alpha gorilla just to see if he'll I don't know, respond man. niger told us to get the fuck out fucking tidy i mean niger we got a hundred million dollar drone that, base there but that and shit's like, been going on but that shit's been going on literally since the end of world war ii i mean that is what I mean, the, that's the what French. that's what the cold war was but i'm talking about that's what the cold war was was some countries telling us to get the fuck out and other countries telling us you can come in and then now instead of russia helping the countries who want to tell us to fuck off it's china we're, we're just starting to be in a cold war with China. Well, China's not trying to tell us to fuck off. They're trying to tell us that we can't have Taiwan. No, they, but if not, China but what I'm saying is the reason Niger can and will tell us to fuck off is because China will, will because they don't need our shit. They can get China's shit. It's probably Russia. It's China, dog. I promise. My beat, my beat, my beat, North Carolina. <laughs> my beat, right here in North Carolina. Right here in North Carolina. It could be. North Carolina. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I got you on that one, dude. Okay. I think we went back into the abyss. I don't think we meant to. No, I'm just, I'm just ranting and raving. Like, what the fuck I know? Do you want to see how oh, much the shit. Chinese have taken I, over? I, I, I've been saving this. Look at that. Try it. Ladies and, Korean barbecue? ladies and gentlemen of America, we got rib chips in China. Let them take over, dude. Rib chips? No, nah, I do think yeah, it's man. I do think it's Korean. Uh, I guess even me thinking it was okay to pretend like Korea and China is uh, the same right. for the sake of a joke is racist. But I want everyone to know I did know that Korean barbecue was not Chinese. <laughs> They may smell like ribs. I'll tell you that. And they, they smell like pork, which is weird. I don't know. I just got them open. All right. The biscuit and gravy one fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, it does. The fucking, dude, it's so fuck. I was so mad. Holy I was like, shit. Is it good? It tastes like barbecue ribs. You're fucking right. Buddy. It, I mean, it tastes like the ones you get a, at a buffet. Like, not the best ones you've ever had. Okay. But yeah. it's like, it's like MSG... Sweet barbecue. Mark, what do you think? It's it's kind of weird, right? I'm into it too. DJ, you ever had those flavored jelly beans that are like weird flavors like popcorn? No. Nah. I'm trying to think of what else to compare it to. The phenomenon that's going on right now is that this tastes exactly like it says it will, but it feels wrong. <laughs> Does that make sense? 
Yeah. It's crazy all the flavoring that they, they that they drop on that shit. Um Carmen's it's here. I tried huh? to save these to show you when you got here, but then it was you're not gonna believe this. Oh, thank God. She didn't fuck it. Thank you. It was Tell relevant to that. our conversation. DJ is out loud thanking God that you're here right now because we have been talking about, and I'm not kidding, literally the mutual, mutually assured destruction of the world. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coming in hot, huh? Oh, thank no, you. thank you. Carmen, please <laughs> try one. No, 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 I'm not eating that stuff right now. Do we just eat a little bit of one? You want me to spit it out? i chew it up and then just spit it out in your hand. What, sure, what, we can what do that. Put that on OnlyFans. <laughs> barbecue spare rib? No, I'm good. It's, it looks, it's great. It looks great. Carmen, it tastes like barbecue spare rib. That's why I want you to try this because I'm having a hard time putting into words it's what's not happening. Right now. Is it? I like it. It's not Mark does too. I think you're just relieved they're finally not lying to you that it tastes exactly like what it says it is. Right. It tastes exactly like that. But what's odd is it doesn't feel like that. It My is. brain has this flavor in it. Uh huh. But that's meat. Okay. This ain't meat. No, they're potato chips. <laughs> and it ain't sauce either. Is that what's My body got a meat flavor in it. <laughs> <laughs> is that um is that what's gravy for you? No, thank Have you. Have a okay. tiny one just so we can talk about it. Okay. Just like I get the smallest like, chip, break like it I in, in half twice. I feel like if if I had just walked in too and somebody put like meat chips in my face, I'd be like, nah, bro. Like meat chips. It's all it's aromatic. That's what it is. Because it's in your nose. Mm -hmm. That's what's mind blowing. Or mind okay. warping. It's yeah. warping your... Yeah, you're completely right. Because remember, DJ, I said I opened them, and I said, well, they smell like ribs. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it just, it's just helping you make the jump. And that and my brain knows it's being tricked, but can't figure out how. Yeah, That's yes. what was going on with me. My brain was going, this ain't right, but I don't know this why. This is how they get you. Did these get bigger since the last time? God damn it. Uh, Why can't I get them to fit my fucking... She can't get her headphones on, dude. We're falling apart. We're not falling apart. I can get them on. They I'm just seem apart. big. These things have set me back. <laughs> well, I'm glad you have reconciled with the Lay's Potato Chip Company. Did we have now a they're doing, out? I don't know. DJ's mad at him over the gravy biscuit one. Yeah, I feel like um, maybe just improve the chip instead yeah. of trying to put... Yeah. All these yeah. other foods well, on them. We don't do that. Oh, right. That's why they put all the fucking flavoring on them is because if you actually just tasted it as it actually was, it tastes like fucking shit. Yeah, the fucking it's garbage. Bang. Yeah, they just also they just fucking dump fucking yeah trash on them. They just put dust on them. They just put flavored dust. That's what we're resulted to. Yeah. Flavored dust. Oh, there you go, Papa Bear. Balls deep throat it. There you go. Mm, <laughs> Korean dust. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's an aromatic thing. It's a it's a way to trick you your correct. brain. It's a way to that's trick your brain. That's how they tricked me. And that's also what was warping me. Mm. So I was like, this is ribs, but something's off. Mm -hmm. uh, they did all nose and very little tongue. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not very American. To that be sounds fair. like somebody who doesn't know how to eat pussy. It's all nose, not enough oh. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's interesting about that to me is that's the opposite of what we do with our snacks. Doritos, it's all tongue. Like, oh, if you yeah. eat a lot of Doritos, your tongue will start to hurt. It's all that stuff that'll interact. It's almost no aromatic. You have to get real close to smell a Dorito. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that's true. I like an aromatic. <laughs> we out here. Yo, Korea Lay's, hit me up. We yeah, dude, I, quit, I quit Lay's probably like Korea eight Lays? years ago. I stopped eating Lay's because they don't taste good. Good for you guys. Let me just say that. Get a, get a, I like a kettle chip. I like a crunch. Yeah. My fucking ADHD ass loves a, I like to bite into shit. So I, I love a, a I love a crunch. I prefer a kettle. What is that? That's we show that. Octopus. That what is that? Octopus. It's, it's a man's butt where he's got an octopus tattoo oh, on his butt. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't really see what I was looking at there, huh? Well, it's not the Did normal shape of a human man. <laughs> So it's just the butt, and then there's the the head of the octopus is the yeah. tramp stamp, and then the tentacles come down to the... You have it, Drew. Or... Oh, right. You have it, too, Drew. Yeah, it's so stupid. Sorry. You well... should airdrop it to Mark so people can see it on the big screen oh, on the yeah, YouTube. Oh, yeah, show it to Mark. All right. You guys talk while I find it. I <laughs> just want to show you all the cool stuff I got my phone. 
<laughs> it's it's uh it's starting to get gross. How have you been? I'm all right. How are you, Deej? Did you cut your hair? Or you just got it tied up. Spring? Yeah, you uh, look like you got some spring in your step. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's starting. I saw a butterfly today. Freaked out. Ooh. Butterfly. Yeah, yeah, it's great. What color? Uh, yellow. Okay. This side. Not the yellow. And uh, I see. Go out. Nice. Yeah, it's coming along. Um, so and, have we gotten uh, the verdict on how many goats total? Oh okay, my god, I this butt four, thing. I think four. Um, off the top, and then we're just gonna chill for, and then a dog. We're gonna chill. Uh, we're gonna see how this how this works. We're mm -hmm. gonna get it going. Obviously, if a buddy shows up and we have a place to put him, now we have a place to put him. We'll have a place to put him. Mm -hmm. So, like, if just something, because it's weird living out here. There's always an animal, and somebody's always got. A farm animal, because like... Oh, I thought you meant like me. I was so hyped. I was like, you saying I can stay in the goat palace? You could. You could, yeah. <laughs> like, I think, you know, it's, it's, cr it's crazy how fast it hums. Huh. And uh, anyway, there's this lone chicken out there. Can you all see that chicken? What's it doing? Nah, just Looking walking Looking for around. bugs, yeah. Bugs. Just trotting. Yeah, they eat moles. Did y'all know that? I see him fucking blur for fucking mola. What? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Dinosaur yeah, birds, dude. dude. Fucking dinosaurs for real. They are. You know, it's real crazy, too, because I hear them talking all the time. And I'm, like, oh, and I'm like, man, that's that's got to be exactly what a dinosaur sounds like. Like, <laughs> like, like anybody knows what the fuck. Are you talking about the mole or the chicken? The chicken. Oh, okay, okay. You're saying oh, a like, chicken they're, they're, went was going after a mole? There's no way that mole would yeah, take them. Yeah, eat them. Yeah, they'll eat them right up. They'll eat them. They'll eat. They'll. How? Them right what do they just peck them to death? They, was they was eat it already dead? Straight with the straight with the bloop and then bloop, just like jab, swallow, jab, swallow. They'll, they'll fuck it. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I, I guess sure I just did. always thought moles were bigger. Maybe you're thinking no, of the no, ones no, we have small. out here, which are I think are technically a type of prairie dog. Yeah, it, we have like real small ones. Yeah. This is probably oh, more like mice. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like a field mouse. Yeah, I still always thought chickens just ate fucking corn. Oh, I, didn't know I mean, were... I'm with you on that. I thought they just ate bugs yeah. as far as live stuff. But 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 yes, it is smaller than you're thinking. It's still wild. Yeah, that is wild. It's like a mouse. Do they eat mice? Mice are smart and mean. They don't eat the fuck, dude. The fuckers don't eat anything. They look styrofoam. They're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a big difference between a mouse and styrofoam, but I'm just saying, it's not yeah. like they have a lot of preference. Like, but like do men? they? Like, is that because Will and do? I mean, go back to the chips. Carmen will eat one if I keep pestering her, but she don't eat them. So, like, do chickens regularly eat mice? No, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This yeah. mind blown. They eat well. Wow. They they regularly eat moles. I can promise you that. Because <laughs> I have them in my I have them in my compost all the time, and they're all the time in there. Got them yanking them some bitches. Both. Yeah, they, they eat mice too, Mark says. Wow. I guarantee you. I just do. figured I out why I didn't know that as a country kid. There's there were no mice near the chickens. The mm. mice were just smart enough. You ate one mice and the mice were like, All right, our bad. This is your corner of the yard now. So no shit. Last year when we first got here, like it was a thing, right? Like we had to find nests and like we had to fuck it. You know, figure out how to get them out and all that. And there was like a big problem. I haven't seen not, none. none. Yeah, they not run the mice them. off. Wow. Yeah. I guess crazy. if you're like chasing them, a big ass chicken chasing you, you're probably away. pretty scary. Yeah. And I'm also realizing, yeah, big ass feathered T Rex. Yeah. You, you gotta yeah. keep. You gotta keep your. Yeah. You gotta keep your chickens contained <laughs> to protect them from the fox mm -hmm. and all that other shit. So that keeps them from. Just murdering mice all day long. That's why we didn't know it. Why the fuck have we been bringing cats in to kill the mice? We should just bring in because a chicken. A, because a fox can't kill a yeah. cat. You can't let a chicken just run around your yard, which is what you'd have to do to like you know keep them away away, because it would the chickens would then die. I was why talking about chicken? how like in in if you stay 
in uh, a country in Asia. I don't remember which one it was. But if you stay there and you find a mouse in your room, they bring in a cat. They don't like exterminate it. Yeah. They just bring in a cat to eat it. Instead and I'm chicken. saying, why not fucking have a joy? Why don't we chicken these bitches up? I bet it's because cats are better hunters. Probably. It's like quicker, you know. Because well, I, mean? I thought they were a predator. I never thought of a chicken as a fucking predator. Yeah. They're still wild. They're still wild. Direct descendant of a T Rex. <laughs> yeah. Small brain, real big titties, <laughs> tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you guys gotten into what's gravy with y'all? Oh, yeah. We went into the biscuit, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. As you were like coming up the stairs, the I think the phrase mutually assured destruction came out. We were discussing China, Russia, the de dollarization of our enemies, mm-hmm. uh, nuclear weapons, and the future downfall of the American Empire. Yeah, I Empire. think I got here just in time. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, save it. Tell us what's what's making you happy. Um, I got a really good compliment that I can't stop thinking about. I'm hyper fixated on. Um, There's a show which is about one of my favorite drug lords because it's a lady. Uh, Griselda Griselda Blanco. They did that. Netflix did a series about her with uh, Sofia Vergara. It's very good too. Limited series. Is it called Griselda? Griselda, yeah. My only criticism is they put like a prosthetic on mm-hmm. her eyebrows. And why would you take a Latin woman's ability to move her fucking eyebrows? You say so much <laughs> with them. Yep. You know, there's been plenty they, of times I've accidentally eyebrowed you and you thought I was mad at you. You know? Yeah. It's the eyebrows. Yeah, it was your eyebrows. It wasn't me and my weird neuropathy. It was your fault. <laughs> well, depending on the time. Yeah. It might have been, <laughs> been you. I guess it might have right. been me. Um, but uh, Maria Bamford told me that that I reminded that she that I she thinks that like when she watched it she thought of me like she like I reminded the way her. that Sophia played that character reminded Maria of you yeah yeah I and can at see first that. at first I was like ah oh, she's probably just watching a show with Latin people on it Mm-mm. and then I watched the show and I, and I was like oh no I I see it yeah especially, <laughs> uh, especially the first like. Three episodes. Mm-hmm. They they do a good job of showing her becoming a worse person. Mm-hmm. But yeah, especially the first three episodes. Yeah, when that's the other thing too is like in and by like the more you watch, I'm not going to spoil or anything, but the more you watch it, the more I'm going, what are you fucking? What are you doing? To, about her? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah this isn't apart. how you do. Yeah, this isn't how you do this. Yeah. You got to the top. You didn't have a plan when you got there. You see yeah, that it was a just lot. it was just a, I mean you see it here all the time. Yes. Like like you have a great plan to get there and then you don't you can't sustain it. You, right. Cuz ultimately cuz what, what what the problem is is sometimes you ever if you achieve your dreams mm-hmm. whatever the dream is, if you achieve the dream, it's like a then what? Yeah. But the then what doesn't have to be crack. It doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. Could be. Could be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, DJ. DJ, what do you think about that? What do you think about... How do you hit that milestone? We're just fucking... Wad it up, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Wait, motherfuckers. You know Yeah, I'm I'm genuinely curious your perspective on that notion idea. What you, uh, notion, DJ. What do you think of the idea of, uh, I don't know, moving to LA, accomplishing a lot of goals real quick, and then getting on crack? That's so <laughs> funny, dude. Oh, dude, funny you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crack all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As soon as I got this pallet palace built, I was like, well, now what? That's <laughs> why I don't have a folder on there. Uh, <laughs> have either of you, I think I know the answer, and it's affirmative for both. You both smoke crack, correct? Never smoke crack. Oh, okay. Yeah. DJ, DJ, have you? Oh, yeah, dude. Does it feel, you know, as good or like better God? than. Yes. It feels yeah. like God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I think it's the paranoia. I've just seen people on it, and that turned me off to it. Yeah, it's terrible. What always seemed to me no, like heroin crazy. was a really long, slow high, and then you feel terrible. And crack was over in a minute, but then you still feel just as terrible. So, so I've always looked at it, and been like, well, that you can get that juice with half that squeeze. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, I think it's just uh, I think I didn't I didn't like the paranoia. Like I'm already worried everybody's mad at me as it is. The paranoia part is the part that fucked me up. Like I'm already worried. I'm 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 a worrier. I feel like that's just gonna make me worry about shit I wasn't even worried about before, and now I'm double worried, triple worried. I think most people listening, and this happens probably a lot with them and us and drugs. They're like, oh, that's why you're not smoking crack. You're worried you'll feel a little bad after? Because <laughs> they're like, yeah, I don't smoke crack because I like my life. Yeah. And I don't well, want when it you, ruined. When you're a person that's got a lot of free time, <laughs> you can give up some of that life yeah. to try things out. <laughs> high risk, high reward, yeah. baby. Yeah. It was just one thing. Yeah. Um, I, And here's the thing. Here's the real hot take is I also believe that through... I don't remember if it was crack or meth. Your third eye gets opened. So I also think it's meth. I remember when you told me that and I thought I it was also, the most Florida shit you'd ever said. To yeah. Me. I still think that might be true. <laughs> I still think it might be true. Day you're awake. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> the first and second eyes <laughs> won't go close. Fucking curtains looking at some goddamn garbage bags. Great thinking that the DEA is looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Breaking, I, I, I'm not gonna lie at all. I think he literally just quoted a text he sent me one time. He told me there were bugs in his eyes tray, and at first I was like, "God damn, men's hallucinating bugs." And then I realized he meant like from the government. From the government. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny how I remember like kind of being like, "Oh, that's fine. Actually, it's fine for him to think that. That's not as crazy." I thought he was literally seeing roaches. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. I don't. I don't. Uh... I mean, that's part of the icky part of what we do is there's there's aspects of my life. I don't want anybody to see. So I don't want that being shattered by paranoia. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, yeah. I'm just saying, I think they're they're either. I'm glad you showed up and we got lighthearted. I think the idea of <laughs> power, I think, is the, the thing that ends up being overwhelming. What you think it will be versus what it ends up being. And mm. um, and the thing of it is, mm. it's like a much like crack. It's something that you have to constantly feed. And yeah. um, and that's the part is I I never I I've had a lot of junkies in my life and I love all of them. But that was the one part of the disconnect for me is I don't want to. It's the same reason I never had pets. I don't want something I got to feed all the time. Yeah. You know, it's a control thing. Maybe. Is that what it is? It is for me. So mm. maybe I was projecting because mm. I identify with everything you said. To take it back to the sweet compliment you got, I think power. But I'll, that's what she was. She was saying I was powerful, and, which I never and, thought and, of myself that way. But and, that's in very sweet. Same, and in the same way she was portrayed in that again at first. Mm. she got like bloodthirsty or maybe not bloodthirsty is not the right word like she was so power hungry she got like I mean she, she did like horrible things at the end of the show but in the beginning her understanding of power I see like what I think Maria yeah meant. it's like a chip on your shoulder type of wanting wanting to in like but it's being... also awareness it's like there's that chip that exists and then also an awareness of your place and how to move it as mm -hmm. a woman I do think that's a very sweet compliment, and I totally see it. Well, that was it. I think it's like has to do no. with understanding men too, and being in places where men have historically been in power, mm -hmm. and how to like move, operate with that. Yeah, how to take it from them without them knowing you're well, doing it. Well, it's also not first. being fearful. I think that's yes. what it is, is. I'm not scared of men, which is weird for a woman to say. Well, I hope Maria comes back to you and is like, "Hey, I'd only been through three episodes." <laughs> The last three is not think like she you was, at all. She said I just started watching Griselda. And She's you gonna me. text you like on episode five and be like, "Listen, <laughs> if you get to this episode, this is not the part I meant, okay?" Because I mean, I'm talking evil. Yeah, but I think that's the whole thing is like you instead of it's a classic case because I remember my dad oh. talking to because my dad was one of those Cuban immigrants that was there around that time. Really? So, so knew, I knew about knew Griselda before this was, yeah, and like. So I knew um, all about, I knew about it already. And um, so seeing how they portrayed, I was like, they also, they also made her hot. She was not a hot lady. Um, they tried to, they tried to unhot Sophia, but that's so hilarious. I it's know. the opposite of lipstick on a pig. Mm -hmm. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. It was like, it was just that it was the equivalent of that, um, that 10 things I hate about you or some shit like that, where it's like, oh, she, she, she put, took off her glasses She's and let that. her ponytail down. She's all that. That's what it was. She took down her ponytail. She's a whole other person. It's like, no, she's still a hot They made lady. her nose a little bigger. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, you took the, one of the hottest women alive and you put a bigger nose on her. You're right. She's not a 10 anymore. She's a nine. And some people are way more into that. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. now it's like, oh, maybe I could fuck her. Yeah. We, Sli- uh, slightly more attainable. <laughs> we got to wrap up because we're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna. We got a deadline or whatever I'm trying to say. I get it. Well, thanks for letting me hop in at the end. Sorry, I was late, y'all. We'll say compliments no, are gravy, baby. I like a good compliment, especially one that sticks with you. Well, you know, you get tired. I, you know, you get the same five most hack, of the time. Yeah, hacky. Yeah, they're it's hacky. So it's always like, yeah. I always thought of myself more of a mob wife, not the mob boss. She but is a mob nice. wife in the beginning. Right. She nailed this. Yeah. Because you're, I know what you mean by that, but that was like what was special about this lady was like. She was aware of that and figured well, out no, how to she, like. She was doing. She was running everything and not getting in the credit for mm-hmm. it. And you can only take that so much. I mean, I did. They start murdering same, children. I mean, no, they left the baby. Make sure you watch Griselda on Netflix, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna be at? Oh, uh, come see me in Colorado. Come see me in um, Northern California. Come see me in the Pacific Northwest. Come see me in Tampa last weekend of May. Uh, yeah, May 30th through June 2nd. I'll be at the Side Splitters of Wesley Chapel. Come see me in Seattle in September. Come see me in Milwaukee in August. For the folks who came and saw me in Denver and Boulder, thank you so much. It always is good to run into you folks. Uh, Next place I'm at is Nashville, but that's like a month and a half away. Uh, Come see me in Scott County, where I'll be all of the month of April. (laughs) (sighs) Campathon in May. Hey, I might go to that. All right. Campathon in May. Fuck yeah. We got to go. We got to get out of here. Okay. Bye. 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 You could stick a whole ribeye in one of your back pockets. (laughs) Like.